Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name's Adrian Reed. Our theme for today, twists and spine. So when you guys are ready, we're gonna roll on over to your stomachs actually. And we're gonna start with a nice easy pose called Sphinx. So when you're ready, I want you to draw your hands up. Your elbows are gonna be underneath your shoulders. Your palms are nice and flat. While you're there, I want you to start drawing your chin upward rolling your shoulder blades back and down, and make sure you tuck your tailbone just slightly to protect your lower back. So just starting to warm up through your spine. Let's go three more good breaths there. Nice and, nice and calm through your breath, drawing that chin upward. Nice job. After your third breath, go ahead and float your torso down. Drop your hands down by your sides and just relax for a breath or two. If that pose felt like it was enough for you, I want you to go back into Sphinx, that's that initial pose. When you guys are ready, we're gonna come on up, float your hands underneath your shoulders, and tuck your toes under. I want you to float into Cobra or Up Dog, or you can go right back into Sphinx. From here, I want you to rise up on your toes. You should push your hips a little closer in towards your hands. Palms are flat, shoulder blades are back and down, draw your chin up. The difference between Cobra and Up Dog, Cobra, your legs remain on the mat. In Up Dog, your legs pick up from the mat, so you do what feels good for you. Focus on your spine here. We're gonna go one more good breath. Looking good, everybody. Shoulder blades are back and down. Try and open through your front body. And then after that breath, go ahead and lower your torso down, drop your hands down by your sides, drop your left ear, couple relaxing breaths here. Nice job, let's do a little bit of work with bow. So when you're ready, I want you to bend both of your knees, reach back and grab your ankles with your hands. Try and have your thumbs on the inside and your fingers on the outside. When you're ready, inhale. I just want you to look toward the front edge of your mat. Exhale, and then on your next inhale, drive your heels up toward the ceiling and back toward the wall behind you. So float up into bow. Try and open through your front body here. Let your arms be nice and long. The higher up you drive your heels, the more arch you get in your back. The lower or the further back you drive your heels, the more you open and you get through your front body. If you feel good, knees come together. We're gonna go two more breaths there. Looking good, everybody. And then after that second breath, go ahead and relax your arms, relax your legs, hands down by your sides. Drop to your left ear for a couple relaxing breaths. Nice job. We're gonna add a twist into that spinal movement. So we're doing a back bend. We're gonna add a twist in with it. When you're ready, we're gonna sweep your right arm forward. I want you to bend your right knee, reach around and grab your right ankle with your left hand. Everybody there, beautiful. On an inhale, we're gonna bring everything up. So your right heel is gonna go up and toward the wall behind you. I want you to pick your left leg and right arm up as well. So everything is up off the mat. So that's a nice bow, but it's got a little bit of a twist in with it. We're gonna go three more breaths there. See if you can relax your left shoulder blade and roll that left shoulder nice and open so you're getting a little more twist through your spine. Exhale, go ahead and release that. Drop everything down, relax, hands down by your sides. Drop to your right ear for a few breaths here.
Let's move right to that other side. So when you're ready, left hand extends forward. You're going to bend your left knee. Grab your left ankle with your right hand so you're crossing over to get that twist in. When you're ready, inhale. And then on your next exhale, come on up. So everything comes up. Left arm, right leg float up off the mat. Drive that left heel up and toward the wall behind you. So pick that leg up too for me, Lydia. That's it. Everything comes up. That's fabulous. The higher up you drive that left heel, the more you open through your left shoulder, the more twist you're getting through your spine. We're going to go one more deep breath there. That's beautiful. And then exhale. Go ahead and release that. Lay your hands down by your sides. Drop back to your left ear. A couple relaxing breaths. Beautiful. When you are ready, I want you to bring your hands forward. Let's float back into an extended child's pose. So drop your hips to your heels. Let's take a couple of breaths there. And then from there, we're going to float up into a table position. So come on up, hands and knees. In table, your knees should be underneath your hips. Your wrists should be underneath your shoulders. We're going to do a nice pose called Viagrasana, kind of a funny name. Actually, you know, let's do a little bit of cat roll work to warm your spine up a little first. So when you're ready, inhale, I want you to arch your back, draw your chin up. So inhale, look up, guys, everybody. You're arching there, sorry. Exhale, round in. Now pull your chin in toward your chest, pull your pelvis in. Let's get four more of those. So inhale, take a nice arch, look up, keep your spinal fluid nice and spinal movement nice and fluid. Exhale round in. Beautiful. Full exhale. Inhale. Arch. Look up. Exhale. Round. Pull in. Keep that movement really calm and fluid. Inhale. Arch. Look up. Exhale. Round. Pull it in. And let's get one more of those. Nice job. Inhale. Full arch. Open through your front body. Draw your chin up. And exhale, round, pull in, push every ounce of air, hull your lower belly, chin in toward your chest, and go ahead and release that. Let's drop back, hips to heels, relax a couple of breaths. And if you want, you can roll your wrists a little bit if your wrists are bothering you in this pose. Now, let's go ahead and get ready and float into that balancing Viagrasana pose. So when you're ready, I want you to come on back up into table. We're going to drop down to your left elbow and you're going to bend your right knee, reach back and grab your right ankle with your right hand. So right ankle, right hand. You got it. When you're ready, we're going to inhale, drive that right heel up and toward the wall behind you. You're going to open through your right hip. Extend that heel up as much as you can. If you fix your gaze, so find something to look at on your mat and fix your gaze. Let's go two more deep breaths there. Nice job. Looking good, Jason. Try and relax through your right shoulder blade and really lengthen through that arm. Drive that heel up. And exhale, go ahead and release that side. Drop back, hips to heels, relax, extended childs. Nice job, everybody. Same thing on the other side. So when you're ready, come on back up. Let's drop down to your right elbow. You got it. Bend your left knee. Grab your left ankle with your left hand. And when you're ready, inhale, drive that heel up and toward the wall behind you. You may notice the further toward your knee you grab, so the further down your leg you grab, the higher up you can bring that leg. Find a focal point. Fix your gaze. We're going two more deep breaths there. So you may feel a nice stretch across the front of your hips, but I really want you to feel a little bit of a twist through your spine. That's beautiful. Looking good, everybody. And exhale, go ahead and release that. Release your leg, drop your hips down to your heels, relax, extended child. All right, let's keep it moving. We're gonna come on back up into a table position. We're gonna add a twist into that Viagrasana and add a little more difficulty as well. So when you're ready, again, make sure wrists are under shoulders, knees are under hips. We're gonna bend your right knee and we're going to reach back and grab your right ankle with your left hand. You're going to stay up on that um, straightened arm. Your right arm is straight. When you're ready, inhale, left heel, or sorry, right heel, my goodness, I'm all backwards, goes up and toward the wall behind you. Beautiful. So you're really extending that heel once again, up and back. You should feel a nice twist through your spine. 
your hips stay nice and square in this pose. Give me two more breaths. While you're here, strengthen through your right arm so don't sink into your right shoulder socket. Push through that. Better, Jason. Exhale, go ahead and release that pose. Drop back, hips to heels, relax. Extended child's, feel free to rotate your wrists a little bit if you need to here. Fabulous, looking good everybody. Let's do that same pose on the other side. So when you're ready, come on back up into a table position. You're staying on your left straightened arm. We're gonna reach back, bend your left knee, reach across, grab your left ankle with your right hand. So you're reaching over. When you're ready, drive that heel up and toward the wall behind you. This is great for balance, for strength, for flexibility. Beautiful, we're going three more breaths there. So drive that heel up and back, square through your hips, find a focal point, fix your gaze. Don't forget, don't sink into that left shoulder socket. So extend through that left arm, it really does make a difference. Beautiful, exhale, go ahead and release that. Drop back, hips to heels, relax, extended child. Nice job. From there, we're gonna tuck your toes under and float right back up into a down dog position. So straighten up through your legs, draw your hips upward. In down dog, your feet should be hips width apart, your hands are shoulders width apart, and it's almost as though someone has a hook and is pulling your tailbone up toward the ceiling. So you're relaxed through the head and neck, relaxed through the torso, underarms are floating down and toward, the, toward your ankles. Let's add a little bit of a twist into here. So when you're ready, we're gonna kick your right heel up toward the ceiling. We're gonna bend your right knee. Right heel goes toward your left hip or shoulder and you're looking under your right underarm. So you're twisting all the way down your right side from your right pinky finger all the way up to your right knee. We're gonna go two more breaths there. So get that twist through your spine, open up, work a little bit through those obliques as well. Beautiful, exhale, go ahead and straighten up your leg, lower that foot down. Let's go a couple good breaths and down dog. Same thing, other side when you're ready. So inhale, kick your left heel up toward the ceiling. And when you're ready, bend your left knee, left heel toward your right hip or shoulder, twist and look all the way underneath your left underarm. So you're opening up from your left pinky finger all the way up to that left knee. Working through your obliques, twisting through your spine. We're gonna go two more deep breaths on that side. You know what, let's go three, stay a little longer. Beautiful, exhale, kick that heel up toward the ceiling, drop that foot down. We're gonna bend your knees, drop back extended child's hips to heels, relax a couple of breaths. Nice job, everybody. When you're ready, go ahead and draw your torso upward. We're gonna float up into a nice staff pose, so Dandasana. So go ahead and swing your legs around the front of your mat, straighten up your legs. Beautiful, so straight through the legs. Your feet are engaged, so your toes are pointed upward. You can move that flesh out from underneath your sit bones if you'd like to. Let's just get a nice, easy twist in to start. So we're gonna inhale and lengthen through your spine. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Right hand comes behind. Now, inhale, lengthen through your spine. I was ahead of myself with my breath. And exhale, look out over your right shoulder and take that twist. So a nice, easy twist here. Try and keep your sit bones nice and flat, your shoulder blades back and down, and you're just relaxing into that twist. That twist should come mid-back, mid-section. One more breath there, looking good, everybody. And exhale, go ahead and roll back towards center. Same thing on the other side. So right hand to the outside of your left knee, left hand comes behind. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, look out over your left shoulder. Get nice and tall, sit bones to the crown of your head. Shoulder blades are back and down. Make sure you're keeping your um, spine straight as you're inhaling and lengthening and deepening into your twist on your exhale. 
and then exhale, go ahead and float back towards center. We're gonna do a twist and a full forward fold here. So when you're ready, inhale, sweep your arms up, get nice and tall, sit bones to fingertips. Exhale, go ahead and fall forward. Let's add a twist into our forward fold. You're gonna bring your right hand on the outside of your left foot, and your left hand's gonna come behind. So you're falling forward and getting the benefit of that forward fold, but we're twisting while we're here as well. You're lengthening fingertip to fingertip. You're looking either back at your left fingertips or up toward the ceiling. We're gonna go two more breaths there. So a forward fold with a little twist added in. That's wonderful. And keep that forward fold for me, Kim. And exhale, release that, come on up. Same thing, other side. So inhale, sweep up, get nice and tall, sit bones to fingertips. Exhale, go ahead and fall forward. Same thing, other side. So left hand on the outside of your right foot, right hand sweeps behind. That's beautiful. Nice job, Lydia. Falling forward with your torso, looking at your back hand or up toward the ceiling. Getting that twist into your spine. We're gonna go one more deep breath there, beautiful. And exhale, go ahead and release that, shake that out a little bit. Nice job, we're gonna do a pose called Pashasana. So we're gonna open up into a medium wide angle, not too much. And we're gonna bend your knees. When you're ready, we're gonna sweep your arms. You're gonna fall forward and sweep your arms underneath your knees. And you're trying to fall forward. Start to straighten through your legs and that may be enough for you. If you still feel good, drop your head down and see if you can hold hands with yourself. Nice job, let's go four more breaths there. So this is actually really good for your back, really good for your legs. Jason, you got it, beautiful. Beautiful, exhale, come on out, release. Nice job, that's great. Bring your legs forward, shake that out a little bit. We're gonna float into a pigeon pose. So when you're ready, let's bring your right knee forward and your left leg back. So float right up into pigeon. And I'm actually gonna do this from the side so I think you guys will be able to see it a little bit better. Let's just go ahead and fall forward here for a breath or two and get your hips nice and warmed up and your legs nice and warmed up. So when you're ready, just float your torso forward for a couple of breaths. Looking good, everybody. And then when you're ready, go ahead and float your torso Upward. We're gonna get a little bit of a quad stretch in to start, so I want you to reach back and grab your left ankle with your left hand, so you're bending your left knee. Just start by pulling your heel in towards your hip. And relax for a breath or two there. If that's enough for you, that's where I want you to stop. If you feel like you can add a little more, we're gonna get a twist here. So you're gonna reach across with your right hand and grab your left ankle with your right hand. Reach behind with your left arm and hook the inside of your right thigh with your left hand. So notice how I'm twisting and looking toward the back. Jason, that's fabulous. Let's go three more breaths here. So wherever you are, you should feel a nice deep quad stretch and a little bit of a twist through your spine. And exhale, go ahead and release that. We're gonna swing that leg around front and just shake that out a little bit. Nice job. So you should feel that through your lower back. I couldn't see behind me. I'm sure you guys were absolutely in that. I'm positive of it. When you're ready, let's do that same thing on the other side. So pigeon, left knee forward. Nice job, Jason, by the way. Go ahead and just fall forward for a couple good breaths there. So inhale, lengthen, and exhale, go ahead and fall forward. Let your body acclimate to that pose with the hips to start. And then when you're ready, go ahead and float your torso upward. Let's get a quad stretch into start. So you're gonna bend your right knee, grab your right ankle with your right hand. You wanna start drawing that heel in towards your hip. So work a little bit through the quads. If you feel good there, I want you to stay there. If you feel like you can get a little more of a stretch, I want you to reach across, grab your right ankle with your left hand, 
left arm, sorry, right arm comes around behind and hooks the inside of your left thigh. So again, getting that nice twist, you can even look toward that back foot. And let's go two more deep breaths, no matter where you are, fall right into that stretch. Fabulous, guys, that looks great. See that, both of you in it deeply. Exhale, go ahead and release. Jason, you have that look on your face like, oh, darn. And shake that out a little bit. Swing your right leg around forward, straighten up through your legs. Shake it out, beautiful. <laughs> when you're ready, let's go ahead and open up into a nice wide angle, seated wide angle. So you guys may need to stagger a little bit in the back row here. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist while we're here. So when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and lower down your right elbow on the inside of your right knee. If you can't quite get there, drop it on top of your thigh or your knee. Your right ear goes to your right hand. Left arm comes overhead. You're reaching toward your right big toes. If you can reach your toes, straighten up with your right arm and twist and look upward. That's exactly it, Kim. So you wanna roll under with this shoulder and open with that shoulder. We're gonna go four more breaths there. So allow your upper obliques to stretch, allow your body to just fall in, beautiful. Looking good, everybody. Give me two more breaths there, looking good. Beautiful, Kim, nice job, Lydia. And keep that look upward. That's really what introduces that twist into your spine. And then exhale, go ahead and float back towards center. Let's do that same thing on the other side. So when you're ready, left elbow drops on the inside or on top of your left knee. Left ear goes to your left hand. Right arm comes overhead and reaches towards your left big toes. If you feel good, straighten through your left arm. Keep that left arm on the inside. Once again, roll forward with that shoulder that's on the bottom. Roll back with the shoulder that's on the top. No matter where you are, I want you to look upward so you introduce that little bit of a twist into your spine while you're in this stretch. Let's go three more good breaths there. So really full, deep breaths. You guys all look bored with your ears and your hands there. <laughs> and then exhale, float back towards center. Bring your hands to the under edges of your knees. Use your arms to bring your legs back together again. Shake that out a little bit. Let's take a couple minutes to cool down. So when you're ready, just float to any cross-legged position. So just sit nice and straight. Get nice and tall, sit bones to the crown of your head. Let's go for an easy twist here. So left hand to your right knee, right hand comes behind. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, look out over your right shoulder. Fabulous, again, keep those sit bones nice and flat. Shoulder blades are back and down. Utilize your breath to let you open a little further into your twist. Two more breaths on that side. Looking good, everybody, nice and calm. And exhale, go ahead and float back towards center. Let's go right hand to your left knee, left hand sweeps behind. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, look out over that left shoulder. Once again, keep those sit bones nice and flat, shoulder blades back and down. Utilize your breath to lengthen your spine on your inhale and deepen through your twist on every exhale. And exhale, go ahead and roll back towards center. Let's do one more easy twist here. We're gonna go left hand to your right knee. And then right arm is gonna come overhead. So once again, you're looking upward slightly and just twisting and falling a little bit forward. So let's go three more deep breaths there. Use that left arm to keep your leverage and your balance. And the more you kind of twist and look upward and fall open, the more work you introduce. Beautiful, exhale, float back to center. Same thing, other side. So right hand to your left knee, left arm sweeps overhead. Start falling slightly to the right. Keep looking upward so you're introducing that slight twist. Use your right arm to maintain your balance. And let's go three more breaths on that side. That's beautiful, Kim.
And exhale, go ahead and release that. Guys, that's it for today. When you're ready, go ahead and lay down flat on your back. Let's get ready for Shavasana. So a nice, relaxed, calm pose. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga, called Shavasana. This is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open. Bring your hands by your sides with your palms upward. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thank you for your time and hard work today. Namaste. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed.